So, Ninja, you will be the attackers, and the Samurai will be the um, counter attack. The computer's gonna just roll it into it. Yeah, no, I was just making sure we weren't starting from here and then going up here, because that makes like a whole here. This Yeah, so like you can, in fact, it can happen right when you turn around for like the, the quick, the, the start of the attack. And then that, that gives you enough time to get up. Get up, there's that scene right there. And then you're just, you just turn around and you just like, so I got. Like, is he okay? <laughs> and by, by that time, you're coming around, and then you would do a like, kill shot for him. Ah. Probably across the stomach somehow. Well, he would have to stop the oh. top plate. Oh. You should have ordered a blood pack. Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the fake blood pack so you can slice the shirt and like, kind of hit the... Yeah. Like, what you could do, if you had enough wardrobe to do, it's, it's the only shot you could do so many times, but uh, Tarantino would kill Bill when he used sponges. Blood sponges or uh, balloons. And anytime anybody got hit, let's say if like the cans behind them, they would take the sponge and slap themselves with it, and you get a nice little blood spot. Coco, get out of there. Ahsoka? Ahsoka would have been. Oh, yeah, she always comes back. She just could have. Who would have given her a bath immediately when you got back? Uh, Coco. <laughs> cool. it's, it's coming together. It's coming together.
sister. Kendo is the Japanese uh, way of the sword. Ken is sword, and Do is the way. And uh, through our dojo, which, which was established in 1985, uh, we practice this in a very traditional way under the leadership of uh, Sensei Tetsuo Komizu, who is a seventh don from, who emigrated from Japan uh, specifically to teach Kendo and pass Kendo on as it was taught in Japan. So our practices are, uh, are in an original style, as close as they can be, and it is uh, the philosophy of Kendo is to cultivate the spirit, to cul cultivate the mind and the spirit so that we can be better people outside of the dojo. So we practice and train uh, through discipline and uh, rigorous practice, and through that practice, we, and always, with, with Kendo it's very unique that we always practice with a partner. Uh, there is an empty hand practice, but also when we practice with a partner, we have to kind of promise each other. And we cultivate each other's improvement. So in order for you to improve, I need to give you my best and vice versa. So it's a mutual exchange of, uh, of this way, um, a genuine, authentic way of us uh, treating each other with respect and wanting the other to improve. Exactly. It's not about winning. It's not about beating the other person, it is about cultivating. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel, for coming to class. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, it's nice to meet you as well. Um, hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Kaya, aka Kaya in Wonderland. You already know what it is. Uh -huh. Um, Austin's number one population. Mm. Um, so I was here with Keenan Stone today. We're gonna we were practicing for his music video Slay the Day. Awesome experience. Um, we are here at the Austin Kendo. Uh, Austin Kendo Dushkai. Um, everything was awesome. It was super fun. It was very difficult. Uh, but I had fun. The instructors were amazing. If you guys are looking into doing any kind of martial arts, I suggest you come here. So, I love it. Y'all know who I am. My name's Keenan Stone, local hip hop artist here in Austin, Texas, also a martial artist. And I had to bring a martial arts element to this project. I'm so happy my sis from another miss, Kaya, is involved in the project as well. And yeah, um, it was definitely an intense practice. Um, but, you know, Slay the Day is all about being intense each and every day and killing the day. So, gotta awaken that warrior spirit. So, super excited to get this underway. Shoot day's coming soon. So, I'm super stoked. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? How? How was the experience for you guys? Um. <laughs> so I thought. So it's so funny. So I'm actually a judoka. I am third degree brown. Uh, I have been rolling on mats for the last decade, and this was very different from judo. Um, not rolling on mats, not slipping anybody. If anything, I was very afraid because I don't use weapons normally. But um, I will say it's inspired me to definitely. Uh, think about, not think about, I'm, it's 
100% inspired me to get back on the mat. So shout out Hashimoto Sensei, you already know. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of echo that. I used to be a Taekwondo instructor and actually had a dojo of my own, but I haven't been in the dojo in a while. So being back in a formal class setting was, again, reignited like the fire to train again. So yeah, it's just just mind blowing just being in the environment and just everything was just everything was just so structured and the discipline. Um, I just miss like that, being a student. So yeah, reawaken that uh, that fire in me to get back in the martial arts and train.